Hi, my name is Matt Murray. I'm with API Services. And today we're gonna to measure the angular accuracy of the B axis on this machine with the swivel check. This is designed to check anything that rotates. And today we're gonna to use it as a pendulum. So I've got a tool holder here with a 25 millimeter collet, and we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the spindle right here. You have to keep the spindle from rotating. It can be as simple as a couple of magnets, or you could use hose clamps. And once you get it where you want it, it has to be in this particular plane. That's when you want to bring an indicator in and measure it here to here. It should be within two thousandths or 50 microns. After you get that lined up, go ahead and hook it up. So we've got our swivel check hooked up, turned on, drives are on. We open the software system, connect to swivel check. You're going to go through an ethernet and you've got pictures of every setup right here. We're going to go with the shank mode as opposed to horizontal, vertical or flange base. Connect to swivel check. Right away it sees the serial number. Connect. It goes through a homing procedure. It, it uh, homes itself to gravity. That's why I've got the axis at the zero position. Now set up. Number of runs. First target, last target, where you're starting, where you're finishing, my increment. Today I'm gonna to do minus 90 to plus 90 every 15 degrees. I leave the trigger band alone. The dwell time, you have to play with. Your machine may take a little longer to settle in than, than, than the next machine. This one I've got down to eight seconds. Overshoot is one degree. So I'll go to from minus 90 to plus 90, then one degree overshoot and back and come and do the reverse. Targeting sequence is from the end to end. Company, test axis, everything's good there. Save setup. Call it whatever you like. Right away, it tells you to go to the initial position before starting data acquisition. So I'll go to minus 90 and we'll start the measurement. I'm actually gonna come up to 91 and then back down to 90 to get rid of my backlash. Okay, ready to start. And away we go. It's gonna dwell for eight seconds. Inside of this unit, we have a high resolution encoder along with a servo motor and an electronic level. So that it keeps it level to gravity the whole time it's running through. That's why we have to dwell a little bit. And it, as it'll move and then settle in and tell you exactly where it's at. And the software does the rest. I'm doing every 15 degrees. I'm doing bi-directional. I want to see every aspect of this 
axis. You can do unidirectional. When it gets to the overshoot, it'll actually say it wants to see 91 degrees. So we go there and we have the same dwell we have for the rest of it. It has to satisfy the software at that one degree. Now it's coming back. When it's finished, a message will pop up saying so, and then you're ready to look at the data. You can pull up any standard you'd like. ISO B554. And you can uh, you can see where all the uh, where all the errors are. This one's 11.8 arc seconds. And then uh, the correction data is right here. Gives you the error in arc seconds. And from that you can make a from the data given here you can come up with a. Uh, compensation file to load directly into the control. And it's that simple. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or would like to schedule an online demo or an in-house demo, don't hesitate to contact us at apimetrology.com and speak to a real metrologist today. Thank you.